What's up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and these are five more of my favorite female-fronted metal bands. And hey, if you like to be kept up to date with the best damn brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above, then stick with me by hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, quick disclaimer, I agree that female fronted is not a genre, and you'll also find these bands featured in plenty of my other lists. I just happen to love metal bands with female vocalists, and every now and then I like to spotlight my favorites. So let's get into it. The latest addition to this list is UK progressive deathcore and metalcore band Vexed, who are actually dropping their excellent debut album Culling Culture the very week of this recording via Napalm Records. Vexed is led by Megan Target, who possesses both thunderously low death growls and a powerfully catchy singing voice, often alternating back and forth between the two as on lead single Hideous. Furthermore, her growls sometimes bring the rapid-fire vocal dexterity of a hip-hop artist as demonstrated on tracks like Fake, Weaponize, and Lazarus. But whether it's soulful, clean melodies or these more intense moments of pure vitriol, when joined with the band's more progressive and flexible take on the genre, it makes for some truly haunting passages. <laughs> Instrumentation ranges from the drifting post-metal of Aurora to expansive, atmosphere-driven deathcore a la Thy Art is Murder on Weaponize, to what sounds like very sixth-influenced mathcore on Narcissus. And no matter which direction they go, Vexed is a powerful new force to be reckoned with in the deathcore and metalcore scene, and one that I look forward to watching even further develop in the future. <laughs> Sharp Tooth is a Baltimore, Maryland hardcore and metalcore band that absolutely floored me with their 2020 album Transitional Forms. All it took was one watch of the music video for a single Say Nothing in the Absence of Content, and I was immediately and irreparably hooked. <laughs> Please watch that video if nothing else. Formed in 2014 and fronted by Lauren Kashan, Sharptooth really strike a nerve with their sardonic lyrics, tongue-in-cheek sense of humor, and always energetic performances, rapidly accruing recognition with their early EPs and debut LP Clever Girl. Nice reference, by the way. <sighs> Clever Girl. The band's songs hit like a ton of bricks, leading to signing with Pure Noise Records appropriately alongside fellow pit worshippers Knocked Loose. And while their name still tends to evoke a who reaction when I bring them up in your average circles, I am confident that they have a wide appeal that will see their influence growing in the coming years. They even pulled an unlikely yet ultimately strangely perfect guest feature in Anti Flag's Just Insane on the track Evolution. <laughs> Why does that work? <laughs> so whether you've never heard of them before or this is simply acting as a reminder, I implore you to spend more time with this band and keep them on your radar. They are highly talented, full of energy, and highly re-listenable. I cannot tell you how many times I've screamed along with certain passages on that album. Spirit Box is a Canadian band with an eclectic approach that I find difficult to fully nail down to one particular genre. They were also probably the most requested band not previously covered in my first list with the sheer amount of where is Spirit Box comments making it clear that they already have a rabidly loyal fan base despite only dropping a series of singles and an EP at the time. Spirit Box is headed up by Courtney LaPlante, who I was previously a big fan of from her stint with I Wrestled a Bear once for the fantastic album Hail Mary. Since then, her and her husband slash fellow I Wrestled a Bear Once member Mike Stringer formed this new project and signed to Rise Records. This leading to the highly critical and commercial success of the absolute banger Holy Roller in 2020.
best described perhaps in a similar vein as Vexed with its detuned, genty grooves and vicious vocal delivery, this song spent seven weeks at number one on Sirius XM's Liquid Metal Station, and as of my last check has accrued over 2.3 million views on YouTube. And rightly so. Once more amusingly offsetting its intense feel with Courtney's happy flower girl facade. This is just one of several high profile songs dropped by the band including Blessed B, Constance, and Rule of Nines. Love the spooky keys, funky bass, and absolutely soaring vocals on that one. Most recently, Spirit Box dropped Circle With Me, leaving fans further chomping at the bit in anticipation of a full-length release. It's just cool to see how successful a band can become in this new musical landscape on singles alone. Seriously, while I was researching and putting this video together, that video was not even out yet and its premiere page had almost 1,000 likes. And I mean, I can't really blame them either. The songs so far demonstrate a band with not only great performance skills, but also highly dynamic songwriting and range. If people are going to simp for a new band, I'm just glad that it's one that absolutely seems worthy of the attention. Louisiana band Capra is one that I've already discussed quite a bit on the channel. After making waves with their first big single, Torture Ship, much like with Sharptooth, I was instantly captivated by the overwhelming vitality coming through in my headphones. Fusing frantic hardcore vocals and southern fried every time I die riffs, songs are highly engaging both on an entertainment and visceral level. Crow Lotus brings such a sense of genuine, haunting despair to her lyrics and delivery that is absolutely magnetic. But again, thanks to her bandmates, the heaviness in the air is always perfectly offset by a certain party time energy. As I've called it before, a perfect yin and yang of intense social commentary and music that is ripe for two-stepping. I have plenty more thoughts I could share about this band, but honestly, I don't want to just repeat myself. Get my full take on their 2021 album in this full review. And better yet, you can hear from Crow and guitarist Tyler directly in this podcast episode I recorded with them right here. Either way, another band in its relative infancy that deeply excites me for their future. And last but certainly not least, Ginger is a Ukrainian progressive groove metal band fronted by vocalist Tatiana Shmeliuk. Hopefully that's close. D -D -mega -doo -doo. <laughs> like Spirit Box, this is another band with a diehard following who were quick to crucify me for denying them an inclusion on my previous list. Formed in 2009, as of this recording, Ginger has dropped three increasingly successful full-length albums with another soon on the way. For no real reason, this is a band I slept on for years years despite hearing about them endlessly during each album cycle. I think it was something about the name that put me off. What kind of stupid name is that? But that all changed after checking out the track Home Back. What is this? What is this noise? What's that noise? I had heard snippets here and there of the band prior, but this song really blasted through my expectations with its fun, chuggy, mashuga grooves and a surprising amount of focus on progressive elements. Seriously, this drummer and bass player in particular are absolutely killing it, especially on mathier tracks like The Prophecy. Lots of cool stuff going on here, pulling on an extensive wheelhouse. Speaking of which, Ginger cite a broad array of influences, including everything from Opeth, Carnivool, and Textures, to Cypress Hill and House of Pain. Tatiana has also described herself in interviews as more of a Gwen Stefani or Pink kind of girl, which comes through in her style just as much as her diverse approach to vocals. My darling, did we wake up like this isolated body? 
Another case of the whole package when it comes to a highly marketable front person for your band, be they male or female. Obvious talent, style and charisma, and strong presence on stage. It's really no wonder to me after digging in more just why this band has been making so many waves. And I wait in great anticipation to hear what this latest album holds in store. And that's it, y'all. Those are five female-fronted bands I really enjoy. I'm almost embarrassed to recommend the previous list that has 10 more bands you can check out because it's an older video, no face cam, pretty pretty rough. But uh, if you want to at least check the list on there, you can check out some of my favorites. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches.